Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and welcome to a second channel video where I'm going to be showing you a little bit of Cities Skyline gameplay as well as what's actually going on with this game because if you follow a lot of gaming communities, gaming circles, or just any form of gaming thing, you've probably heard something about this game over the past few days despite probably having heard nothing about it from pre-release hype or anything like that, kind of like myself. And I was like, so why is this game just universally being agreed as good? Like, It's something I felt I had to try out, so I bought it. I got it for something like £18, which is a pretty good deal, so something like 25 $30 and I just wanted to show off what I thought after my first maybe six hours of in-game time because it's a very addicting game it's one I kind of want to share with you uh, because it's one of those games that gets the minute details that I love to talk about down and you know I'm a youtuber that means I like talking about games you can probably tell that already um, so yeah let's let's talk about those video games that I like to talk about shall we so um <laughs> yeah this is uh this is city skyline right here you manage a city Essentially, it's just SimCity, and the thing that makes this game so amazing, and what I think makes it such a big, you know, out of the park massive success is that because of the fact that, uh, you know, SimCity came out a couple of years ago now, uh, SimCity 2013, you know, it's uh, the online one that everyone hates, and, you know, everyone was expecting it because it'd been so long since the SimCity game, and it let everyone down. Then, City Skyline, it's made by seven people from Paradox, uh, you know, as opposed to a hundred person, you know, multiple hundred person studio. It's made by seven indie developers. This just comes out of nowhere, you know, it's sold at half price game, and this is everything everyone wanted from SimCity, and that's what's so amazing. Like, it's just one of those amazing stories of success where it came out of nowhere. Like, imagine if, um, I know, let's say the Battlefield game this year is a really bad Battlefield game. And then for some reason, Soul makes it like an indie developer, like, you know, five-person studio, decides to make a better Battlefield, and it's the best game anyone's played that year. It's, this is that, but for city builders. So you can see I'm actually getting a pretty bad traffic problem here. I should probably fix that. Uh, you can see I'm getting quite a bit of uh, traffic backed up there. But yeah, so uh, let's talk about what, what's going on in the city, because I am managing a city, but that's not really too descriptive, is it? So uh, basically, you are managing city, trying to make sure that everything is okay, whether it be uh, the education, as you can see, these guys not getting too great access to education. We should fix that. Uh, whether it be the health. I've got pretty good health in my city so far. Uh, whether it be your wind, which is actually really irrelevant besides my wind farm farm. Is it wind farm farm or just a wind farm? But yeah, with my wind farm. Pollution, as you can see, pretty serious issue. I should, uh, I'm just going to put that one off because my w drinking water is just fine. Uh, as you, yeah, you can basically get an idea of what's wrong, where you need to fix. And that's why this game is cool. It's just manage the city. And there's something so satisfying about building a perfect city. Because, you know, you, you can call it your city. Like, I'm going to call this one Toy Catsville. And, and this is this is just my city that I've spent, like, this this save so far I've been spent about, about hour managing, but it's just so addicting, you know, micromanaging, trying to build this perfect city. Like, when I built my bus routes, for instance, I was like, I'm going to build the perfect bus routes, and even though they only manage the, you know, the inner city right now, it's still just, there's so many minute details that if you like, you know, the Sims style game, Sim City, this game does it amazing. So, what does this game do so great in the city building genre? So, I haven't played a city building game in a while, so maybe, maybe, so, I, I'm, you know, maybe there's some of this stuff you're like, oh, I don't even care to I get. But <laughs> assuming that's not your opinion. Oh, I've got an idea. We'll just have, wait, uh, we'll connect that to that. And then we'll connect that over to here. And then now I've just made all these guys unhappy. But hopefully, no, no one's going to use these roads. No, no one wants to use my roads. I build all the roads for them. They don't want to use them. But yeah, I, I guess because it's just inefficient. But uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about why the game's great then. So one of my favorite things about this game is you can zoom into a pretty intense level here. And you can even look at it however you want. So if you want to look at it like this, you can. If you want to look at it like this, you can. And it means you can really, like, follow something around. So this van, for instance, is going to Frank's Sticks Factory, which is a real place in the world. Let's uh, really show you this place, which is over here. This is Frank's Fish Stick Factory. The van is coming here with some stuff. As you can see, that's really, really cool right there. And uh, <laughs> this is connecting the street here. Uh, you can zone your city up so you get some slummy districts where you got your your factories, you got your warehouses, ice cube factory. <laughs> I don't know how that's a thing, but yeah. You have all these various things around the place, and you can micromanage, and you can watch someone as they go about their day. Like uh, SimCity promised you could do this, but it didn't work. But in this game, you can follow this tractor as it goes wherever it's going. It's actually going to Lakefield, which I don't believe is in my city. But yeah, you can follow stuff as it goes around the place, and that's what's cool, because I have 3,000 citizens right now, as you can see. Each of those 3,000 citizens actually exists in this place, and actually does their own stuff. So for instance, Stephanie Green uh, lives in the Hickory res uh, residence, works at the Goods and Liberty, and is currently going to work. So let's follow her to work, for instance. This is, this is what's so amazing about the game to me, because even though it's not something you're doing all the time, 
it's something so mind-boggling that it's one of those small things that's just amazing. So, she actually has a dog with her, which is pretty cool. I don't know why she's taking a dog to work. I assume that's her dog. Maybe that's the person next to her dog. But yeah, you can follow these people around. She, there we go. Okay, so this is a really busy intersection. Uh, that th Those people always go around over by this guy who is going to the Primrose Mace. Oh, this girl, I guess. And that's what is amazing about this game to me. The micro detail while still not missing out on the fact that it's an amazing city builder, is amazing. And the thing that keeps it addicting and keeps it fun and makes you be like, one more hour, kind of like in Civ, where you're like, one more turn, is that you're always balancing something, you know, that's not new for a city builder. So right now, for instance, I'm actually going to, you know, build a lot more residents, because I just don't have many of those, uh, which is, you know, this is kind of a primitive way of making houses, but it's, it's how you let them do their own stuff. Oh, we need to actually put some water over here. See, gotta get some water over there, gotta get all this stuff done. But yeah, so, um, there's always something to keep you going, whether it be these bars here, which is like, you need more residential zone, you need a little bit of a commercial zone, you don't need any industrial zones. Uh, there's, you know, there's that, there's all the various sectors, like, you know, healthcare, like I mentioned, there's policing, gotta make sure all of this stuff is going well, like, so as you can see, education, real bad problem over here. I think I'm gonna build a school here, actually, let's, let's build a school. There we go. As you can see, everyone gets magically happy. And you look around the city, and there's just so many different issues you have to fix. And that might not sound addicting, but when you start to build Toy Catsville, which apparently I didn't say the name is, uh, it's just an amazing experience. And I really do think this game deserves its 9 out of 10s. Uh, you know, it's 95s out of 100s. And it honestly might be one of the best games I've played this year. Even if it's, you know, for the small things. I'm a big fan of the small things. It's the small things that make, you know, it's, it's all about the small things is a phrase people say a lot. And I didn't really understand that too much. Until you really see that there's there's a donut van that I can follow around if I want to. There's all these small details. Like, my bus is even my public transport system. I can see it as it runs around and picks people up. I can see who rides the bus. Like, yeah, you can sit at the bus stop. These people are going to ride the bus. And it's it's really cool. I'm a really big fan of it. It was developed by seven people, I believe it is. Uh, it's, it's just one of those things that's like, yeah, this is cool. This happened. This is a thing. It probably won't be a thing in a few months. But for now... This is a great city building experience that, oh, by the way, uh, where SimCity gave you like tiny sized worlds, uh, this is how you like, you can just expand, expand, and expand uh, as far as, you know, as far as, you know, this stuff goes, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, big, 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 big place. Lots and lots of things to do. Pretty good game made by seven people. It's just a cool story that is also a cool game. So uh, actually these are built. Oh wait, no, not the fish stick. Oh, that's not the fish stick stuff, factory. That's the fishing factory. But yeah, so you can look around the place, you can do whatever. I just, I, I've only shown you the tip of the surface as to what's going on here. I just thought it was a cool game worth showing off. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Let's turn on Max Beach to show you what that's like. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please do like it and let me know. Oh, one, oh, sorry. I did forget to, not, don't like, I, I'm, I'm, I forget I'm on the second channel. But uh, one thing I need to mention is uh, there's actually population targets. That's one of the things that always keeps you going. So when I hit this population, I get city planning policy. I get those things. And it's like that leveling up feature in what's already an addicting genre and that's why it's amazing because it's addicting on addicting on addicting and it's just digital crack that i enjoy and i'm advocating digital crack right now and it's worth it so thank you for watching the video second channel don't care oh, oh wait wait oh, now now i don't